Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to solve a differential equation by the method of undetermined coefficients. To do this, let's recall the solution of a differential equation. Now, the solution consists of two parts, yc, the complementary function, and yp, the particular solution. What is yc then? yc is a solution of the homogeneous equation d2y dx squared plus 9y equals 0, where the right hand side is equal to 0. To do this, you must solve the auxiliary function. So, auxiliary equation in this case is lambda squared, 1 times lambda squared, there is no dy dx there, and plus 0 lambda plus 9 equals 0. So lambda square equal to minus 9 in this case. So lambda will be a complex number now. is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 9 or plus or minus square root of 9 or square root of minus 1 equal to plus or minus 3j where j is square root of minus 1. Now from here we all know what is the complementary function now. We can refer to the notes we have. Okay, say that if the root of the oscillatory equation is complex root, say lambda 1 is alpha plus j beta, lambda 2 is alpha minus j beta, then the complementary function will be y equal e, e power alpha x, constant cosine beta x plus a constant sine beta x. Therefore, in this case, Alpha is equal to 0 now, since lambda equal to alpha plus or minus beta j, or alpha equal to 0. Therefore, we can conclude that, so y, c, the complementary function is e power alpha x. So some number a, cosine beta is 3x plus b sine 3x. Since alpha equals 0, so we get a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x. This is the complementary function as alpha equals 0, e power 0 is 1. So we have obtained the complementary function. Now to find the particular solution, now in this case, as the complementary function is equal to a cosine 3x plus b sine 3x and we see that sine 3x appear on the right hand side also. Therefore, we have to guess the solution as, in this case, guess the yp by almost the same but you get x multiplied by, let's call it c cosine 3x plus d sine 3x, so they have a sample c and d, optical function multiplied by x, and for the last number, I'm going to guess e, the e power x, for the guessing of e power x here, so I have e power x here, for sine 3x, I guess the combination of c cosine 3x by d sine 3x multiplied by x now. Uh, this is because sine 3x appear in the complementary function. So now, if this is my particular guess, yp, I need to do differentiation to find out what is dyp dx. I apply the product rule to find out what is the first term. So this one, the first term, I need product rule for differentiation. Then I differentiate one more time. This one, another product rule for differentiation. I get d2y dx squared. All right. And notice that when I do the second derivative, I notice that there are some common terms. For example, this term, minus 3c sine 3x plus 3d cosine 3x. And here, minus 3c sine 3x plus 3d cosine 3x can be combined together. So you get, 
equal to minus 60 sine 3x plus 60 cos sine 3x. So now I want to find out what is C, D, and E. So I want to put it into a differential equation. D to yp d x squared plus y 9 yp equal to 2 sine 3x minus 5 e x here. First of all, d to yp d x squared is equal to this expression. And 9 yp is equal to 9 times x c equal to sine 3x d sin 3x plus 5 e times ex here. And this is supposed to be equal to 2 times sine 3x minus 5 ex. Now let's compare the coefficient. So I rewrite the equation again. I'm going to compare sine 3x. So when I compare sine 3x and look at left hand side there is minus 6c sine 3x and then there is no more sine 3x because Although there's a 9d sine 3x on the second term, but in front there's an x. Same thing. So for the third term, the, when you compare sine 3x, you get minus 6c on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have 2 sine 3x. So I have one equation, minus 6c is equal to 2. Let's compare another term, cosine 3x. Uh, compare cosine 3x, I find that on the left hand side I have a 6d cosine 3x. Although there is another cosine 3x on the second term like 9c but in front there is an x. So this is different. And the same thing for the 9xc cosine 3x, this is different here. So there is only a 6d in front of cosine 3x. On the right hand side there is no cosine 3x. Therefore, we have 6d must be equal to d 0 as no cosine 3x appear. Alright, on the right hand side. Now, let's compare e power x. To compare e power x, I have e capital E e x anymore. There's an E here, capital E, but multiplied by 9. So this will give me E plus 9E, then E of EX here. On the right hand side happen to be minus 5 EX, so this is going to be minus 5. So put it all together, I get minus 6C equal to 2. So that means that c equal to minus one third. Six d equal to zero, so d is equal to zero there. Then e equal to minus five, that means e equal to minus half. Therefore, the particular solution is x times c cosine three x plus d sine three x plus e times e power x here, where c equal to minus one third, d equal to zero, e equal to minus half. So the general solution is y equal to y c plus y p yc is a cosine 3x by b sine 3x, yp is what I did just now, yp will be x times minus 1 third cosine 3x minus half times e power x, and yp, yc will be this, and this will be the general solution for y as a solution of the differential equation. Let's finish the recording.